Well, friends and colleagues, it's time now for us to use SPSS to conduct multiple linear regression. Now, I want to remind you, of course, you know that SPSS is a very powerful piece of statistical software. The student version of SPSS is uh, very much worth the cost. Uh, of course, mine's an Apple version. There's IBM versions. It's pretty cool. The, the power of this software is going to especially be evident as we progress towards more demanding analyses. Uh, multiple linear regression will require that we test the assumptions and conduct the analyses for our problem. Uh, don't panic. Uh, this will be fun. We love SPSS, and we're going to have a blast doing multiple linear regression. Well, my friends, here we are back with SPSS, and you may recognize the data set that we have here. This is the very same data set that I used to do factor analysis. We have four Texas public school districts for 2011. We have the percent disciplinary placements, the percent of students that are African American, percent Hispanic, percent white, the percent that are economically disadvantaged, the percent that are limited English proficiency, the percent of students that are at risk, and the percent of special ed students. Now, what I propose to do in this particular data set is I want to make the percent of disciplinary placements the dependent variable, and I want to use the remainder of these as the independent variable. So in order to do a multiple linear regression, the first thing I do is go up to analyze. Now, remember how easy it would have been to jump on general linear models? Well, we need to go down to regression, and let's go to linear. Now, you may say to yourself, but wait, that's where we went with simple linear regression. Well, it's where we're going to go with multiple linear regression. We will click on it, and up comes this beautiful screen here. Now, our dependent variable, again, is the percent disciplinary placements, so we will place it there. And the remainder of our variables will be our independent variables. Now, we will do this as a stepwise analysis. And let's go up and choose the statistics that we want. Now, of course, we want our descriptives. We want our part and partial correlations and our collinearity diagnostics. This will assure us that none of these variables that we're using are, in fact, just a just another uh, uh, form of the same thing. Okay, the plots. I think we might do some plots. And uh, our Y, let's see, we want our Z residual to be our Y and our Z predicted to be our X. And we will want a histogram and a normal probability plot. I think we're ready to go. We can do it stepwise or we can just do enter. It doesn't make any difference. And let's see what we get. Here it runs. Now let me move this over to get it in the screen. Man, I mean, it's a kicking. Now if you were out there doing this on your own, I assume that it would be pretty rugged. We now have a regression model. I'm going to click right here and, and uh, I'm going to put uh, uh, by, uh, by Dr. Dog just to show you how that you might enter in uh, the amounts. I'm going to do that, and there we go. So this one is done by Dr. Dog. We have the descriptives. Notice each of these. We have the mean, the standard deviation, and number. Obviously, we had 1,230 school districts in the, in the sample. We have our correlations. We can go right down through here, and we can see how all of our variables correlate with each other. Have a lot of other stuff that we don't need. The model summary. Uh, our R is 0.12. Oh, not a real strong correlation, a little bit weak, but that's all right. We have our beta coefficients. My gracious, look at this. We have the standardized beta coefficients. And uh, who knows, we might somewhere down here have a uh, constant if we wanted to uh, look at it. That's pretty cool. Take so. Uh, the ones that are the most important, and then it actually built us four variables that were very, uh, very uh, uh, powerful. We'll come back and look at this in just a minute. We have our collinearity diagnostics. We don't really have, uh, I mean, we don't have any collinearity. We'll check that. We have a histogram, a residual plot, a stab plot. Man, this is really cool stuff. 
So what you've seen is, is that you can go in with SPSS and with a click of a few buttons, you have the diagnostics that you need. Now we'll go next to a video that interprets the diagnostics for us. Hang on, here we go. Well, we got that SPSS analysis conducted. All we have to do now is learn to read it. Shouldn't be too bad. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. May the odds be ever in your favor. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. You're coming along in this. Just keep plugging. You're going to get it done. Have a great one. This is the dog signing off.